this is chapter 17 and it is about transistors and applications so here we need to recall uh, some concept of the diode actually so a diode hope you remember how it is constructed diode do you remember for the diode we have like yeah, pn so we have one region let's suppose this is p another one is n like this right and uh, if i just write the name so this is let's say p type and it is like n so there are two layers of pn okay yeah pn junction so it's a layer of two uh, uh, basically and here girls this is what we call junction right there this is the junction okay so and uh, this pn what we call we also call it a pn junction so here we have two terminals connected which is anode and cathode you can see this one this is anode this is cathode and uh, it also have this concept like this and this is the symbol here this is a symbol here this is a this is k you can see this one and written cathode so here in diode uh, we have two layers p and n but in case of transistor we have one more extra layer okay which is like either npn or pnp configurations are possible like we have like something like that so one layer is like this and one layer is like this see now so how many layers we have three layers okay so this way now these three layers like a sandwich so here we we can have a different combi uh, combinations like we can say this is p next is n this is p so one type of you know uh, combination is possible correct another one is n p n another type is possible correct you are right so both are possible it could be n p n p like it could be n p and so the combination is like so that's this way we have two type of transistors okay this is something so here <clears throat> so now you can see how many terminals we need to connect it like so there are three terminals one two three so here we can connect the these terminals like right? so this is something so these name are like that so one is called collector one is called e emitter so current emits from here it collect, collect, collect the currents and this is called the base you know this is same for both npn or pnp so now you can also see how many like junctions are there now can you check it how many junctions are there if you check you will find there are two junctions right two junctions one is there and another one is here girls right yes so it means it can behave like a, you know two diodes connected back to back something like that you know they are connected like here so and we we already seen that the concept or we have understand the concept that how the diode works so diode works in one direction only and uh, uh, in order to operate a diode uh, you know we have to uh, bias it how to bias yeah either it should be in forward bias or it should be in reverse bias so there is a condition for that and what is the condition like anode should be greater than cathode or we can say p type should be should have voltage greater than the n type then it will be in forward bias right this is the concept so this is just a basic which i just explained to you similarly guys in order to use a transistor we must set up this transistor first in a way you know these two junctions either i am talking about this 
this is called base collector junction because it is between base and collector another junction is called base emitter junction okay so these two junctions must be configured according to the application now what is more what is the meaning of configuration yani we have to connect these junctions in a way either they are in forward bias or they are reverse bias according to the application of the diode i am using it so i can use a diode as an amplifier yani it can increase the strength of the signal okay so for that it must operate in particular mode we will discuss and uh, we can also use transistor as a switch so for that again this switch has these uh, junctions must be in either forward or reverse that is fixed again we will discuss that one so hope you have now complete idea what is a transistor how it is made up of and uh, you know all these things so let's see now we go inside it and then we'll understand this in more detail so let's start now so this is a youtube channel you can go and just you know check it what i just explained to you it is here collector emitter junction and it could be either npn or pnp so like we will be just focusing on npn pnp is going to be you know opposite concept which we will learn here actually they are opposite to each other so here is the emitter this is a collector so it will emit the electrons electrons will go there it will collect and you know how it works basically the small voltage at the base and uh, you know voltage or current at the base is basically can control the current between collector and emitter that is the you know the role of it so this is something which we will learn in detail now so separating these junctions there are two um, uh, what we call junctions base collector and base emitter i already told you this one now this is the symbol of the npn and this is the symbol of pnp so you can check both the symbols and hope you can identify the difference what is the difference try to identify yes so bus you can you know identify one again the another one is different so the arrow okay arrow direction so npn it is outward okay it is near to that one and it is inward bus so you just focus for npn it is like that so a transistor is uh, no this is the definition of transistor it is a semiconductor device that controls current between two terminals which terminals emitter and collector i told you between emitter and collector based on the current or voltage at the third terminal which is base so here we will be applying voltage or current based on that we can control the current between these two terminals it is used for amplification yani this is the application of the transistor or switching the electrical signals yani it can switch on switch off the electrical signals it can behave like a electronic switch just giving proper voltage it will on off on off some devices nowadays you people know that uh, uh, you know iot's time is there acs fans appliances are you know are connected to the internet and from anywhere you can on 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 and off them how it is possible because the switch is inside the you know device itself and that switch is basically we are having <coughs> wifi connected so wifi from wifi we receive a signal okay and that signal can you know uh, you know on and off that the device that can electrically connect or disconnect the connections so this is something how we use the uh, these transistors as a switch now in order to understand these two applications there are some basic important things we should understand like the biasing i told you so the dc biasing is important to the operation of the transistor like which junction has to be in forward which junction has to be in reverse so for that we know that girls we have to apply some voltages here some voltages here some voltages here so that the the junctions must be set up either in forward bias or in reverse bias this is something so two important parameters are there which are called alpha dc and beta dc these are basically current gains you will learn later on what are these basically so first of all you should understand 
for a particular application how these any yani, these junctions should be in forward or reverse how can we know this one so this is fixed you can read it like if i want to use a transistor as an amplifier and yani i want to amplify the signal so transistor must work in active region what is this active region or active mode in this mode girls base emitter junction must be in forward bias and what is the next base collector junction must be in reverse bias so before using a transistor as an amplifier we have to set up these two junctions according to this condition yani base emitter must be in forward and base collector must be in reverse so we will be applying our batteries there dc voltages so that the junctions will be either in forward or reverse bias as per the application then we will apply the voltage which we want to amplify did you get my point okay everyone is silent today is everything okay fasting hmm fasting oh mashallah no fasting everything okay huh? no okay any some problem no sick okay someone is sick okay oh all good all is good ah huh? okay let's see now so this is one application as i said amplifier another one is that as a switch so when we are going to use as a switch girls so it is going to be either work as a switch on or as a switch off so switch on both emitter base and base collector junctions must be in forward bias when both are in forward bias it will behave like a switch on another one off is state in digital yeah in switch off both must be in reverse bias so this is something so when it is working as a switch on yani saturation region or saturation mode what is a saturation mode when both junctions are in forward bias we call transistor is working in saturation mode or region cut off both junctions are in reverse bias clear so hope this is clear to all of you this table okay and each and every conditions okay so this is in more detail see for the cut off girls uh, you can see at both the junctions are in reverse bias and hope you also know that while we are applying a negative voltage and you know diode uh, diode or transistor is in reverse bias so these junctions you know if we cross the limit of the negative voltage what will happen the junction will break down or not because there is a limit how much voltage we can apply here right but if we cross that voltage means at that time what will happen the junction will break down yani this switch no longer can work as a on off on off just finish okay damage this is the one so next table is in more detail actually yeah it will damage so is in more detail so mode is here so breakdown mode is there what is the breakdown mode beyond the limit yani we apply the voltage very high that will cross the limit and it will overload and damage the transistor basically this is linear this is switch uh, close switch open switch both should be reverse both should be forward you know this is all about it so it's same almost you just more information added there now so dc biasing yani i just told you we have to set up we have to make it ready for a particular application okay so this is what we called biasing so in order to transistor to operate properly as an amplifier yani we are going to look for the first application as an amplifier so what is the condition girls the condition is base emitter junction should be in forward bias base collector junction should be in reverse bias all right then only this transistor can work as an amplifier okay let's see now 
So this is NPN transistor. It means is that this terminal is okay. Also, just give the name of the terminals. This is called collector gulls. The arrow where we are connecting, this is called emitter. Okay, this one is called base. So I'm just writing these things. I also, as per the given regions, this is N. This is again N, yani emitter is made up of N type. And this is P, correct? N, P, N, it is like that, correct? So now, girls, just to make it simple for you, just to make it, you know, easier to understand for you. So this is P type, girls. So P type, do you remember the diode P look like the arrow? This is P. And this one is look like N. Yani, this junction, which is here, could be considered as for simplicity to explain the concept is like a diode because this is P, this is N. Did you get the point? I can just show you that you know, it is like behaving like a diode here because this is P, this is N. All right. Similarly, okay, yeah. So the reality, it is not like that. We know that, but it, because it's P type, this is N type, there is a layer between the N junction. So it is like a diode actually. Okay, now, so what is the condition for the base emitter? This is base, this is emitter. And what it should be base emitter junction? It should be in forward bias. So you know that the, what is the forward bias condition? Yani base, okay, I'm just writing here. Base should be greater than emitter voltage. Am I right? Okay, so can you check how much voltage we are applying to the emitter now? It is connected to ground. Can you see this? Yes, so it is zero. So if I apply a little bit positive voltage at the base, it will be in forward bias. So I am connecting here positive voltage okay it could be any voltage for example let's suppose 5 volt positive is it gonna be in forward bias or not so quickly it will be in forward bias correct now so this is in forward bias which we have set up now just look for the another junction which is base collector so base collector because it is again p type so it can also be considered as a diode for the simplicity to explain the concept this is something like that. So this is P, this is N, and I want to make it in reverse bias. Okay, so we have already set up the voltage at the B. I have to set up the voltage on the C. Okay, so how much voltage I should apply compared to the B so that it, sh it, it should be in reverse bias. So just say greater or less than, yani, it, how much it should be. C should be greater than B. All right, yani you are saying C, should be greater than B. Yani, if I give here, for example, seven volts, so we have done like that. Okay, so this is the actually condition what we should look for. Yani, base should be greater than emitter and collector should be greater than base. If this is true, uh, the, the transistor is gonna work in active region as an amplifier. Did you get? Any confusion, any question, all of you? Okay, so clear. So this is something, any? okay? We have to set up the, once it is ready girls, then, you know, then what will happen? Then here we will apply AC voltage, which we want to amplify. So we will be getting after amplification voltage here output, this is, this is something, you know, so we'll see later on. Actually, we have removed a lot of things, uh, you know, otherwise this chapter is so interesting, uh, but time is short and these things. So for now, okay, whatever you have, at least I will try to um, make it interesting uh, for you. So this is something, any uh, setup, setup of uh, uh, junctions. Now, guys, just minor change. This is NPN. If I make it PNP, you, you know what will happen in case of PNP? 
just minor change so let's see i am using this color now it is going to be now p for n eh? this is going to be n this is going to be p if this is a situation right so the diodes will reverse or not they will also revert now how it will be like like that because this is p type similarly this is going to be reverse also because of this one clear now so look for the condition it should be in forward bias so at the p type we are applying zero and at the n type we how much voltage we should apply so look for the again the concept any b should have greater voltage or less voltage you have to think like that now b compared to e should have greater voltage or should have less voltage so that we can have in forward bias okay so what you said b should have less voltage compared to e so that this junction will be in forward bias yes absolutely you are right now this is in forward bias now i want to make it in reverse bias okay so we already set the voltage b now how much voltage i should apply uh, e c sorry so c should be greater than b or c should be less than b so that this junction is in reverse bias less yani b should be greater than c or we can say c should be greater than b yani so uh, check here please is that what you are trying to say all of you okay now can you compare these two conditions what i just explained to you check the change try to understand the change only greater than is replaced by the less than operator you know this is the condition so we will be just looking for one type of transistor another one is you know uh, we know that so most commonly used transistor is npn you know npn type so npn we will be just using and pnp whatever it is going to be a positive we know that one its use is actually you know this one is it so any question any doubt here if you have you can ask okay so no question here hmm. all right so you you understand that how we set up this transistor in an active region by making base and emitter in forward bias and base collector is in reverse bias by putting this you know extra batteries now guys how many batteries i am applying here in order to make it uh, these two junctions forward and reverse two batteries you know two batteries now i'll show you another way to make them in forward or reverse with the help of only single battery and a voltage divider circuit we'll see this one later on okay for now i just explain the concept to you okay so this is base forward base emitter this is npn you know that so what is going to be changed now guys can you see this one the battery terminals just opposite now this is now negatively connected here this is negatively connected because this is negative now this is negative khalas for npn so this is just change we revert the polarity of the batteries now we can use pnp all right now let's look about the currents which is flowing in all the um, you know junk, um, what you call regions ib is very small we know that base current is very small compared to these two currents guys and is ap but still you know ib is able to control a large collector current which is ic important current relationship for bgt are you can see here ie any yani emitter current which is emitting uh, here is equal to basically the base sorry in the uh, collector current plus base current even you can see by, by this uh, emitter is connected here so ie is the total which is basically the sum of ic current plus ib current which is here so this is the formula which we should know you should memorize it ie is equal to ic plus ib also two more things which i uh, told you earlier 
current gains, which is alpha DC and beta DC, which is like that. So rather than saying like this, I think it's better to if you look like this. Both are current gains. And what is alpha DC? Alpha DC says, uh, again, you have seen in opens. And what is the meaning of gain, girls? Gain is equal to output over input. Yani how much I apply, how much I receive, you know, how much I give input. Like if I am doing a business, uh, how much I am, uh, you know, gaining from that, how much, how can I find how much gain is there? I will see how much I am selling something and how much I am buying something. So based on that, I can find the gain. So here is that. So collector current is here divided by IE. So yani how much current we are getting here while we are emitting this much of current, which is basically alpha DC. Okay. Another thing, beta DC is what? Again, output, which is IC over IB in terms of IB basically. So there are two gains, current gains, whether alpha DC and beta DC. Now they have some standard values also, which we can see now. So alpha DC can be considered to be approximately one. Why can we say it is approximately one? If you look these meters, girls, you will see that IC is equal to nearly IB because, uh, uh, sorry, IC is equal to nearly IE. It is because of IB is so small. IB is so small. So in this equation, girls, if I'm saying IB is so small, just drop it because it's so small. So if we drop it, you will see that IE is nearly equal to IC. If this is the case, and when you put it here, so alpha DC will become equal to one. Is it, are you getting the point? This one? Yes. Okay. So this way, alpha, this alpha DC will be nearly equal to one. This is an approximation. Another is the beta DC. So for the beta DC, it's value typically in the range of 20 to 300. The reason is, the, the, what is the reason? The reason is IC is very high. You can have an idea from here. IB is very low. So this ratio will be high. Yani its value depend upon the type of transistor you are using. It is made up of which configuration. So its value varies between 20 to 300 actually. So these are three formulas. What are this one and these two? You should memorize it. Okay, we will be using this one in order to calculate the all currents, IC, IB, IEV, like that. Okay, so this is the current. Now, next we will look about the voltages, yani, uh, uh, different voltage like VB, IB and all. We will look that one also. So this is formulas and these are the BJT voltages. So here we have discussed already the setup of the, you know, and now this is VE is emitter voltage, collector voltage, base voltage. So this is something. So this is VB, any voltage at this point. VE voltage at this point. VC voltage at this point, like that. Okay. And VBB is the, you know, biasing uh, battery. And this one is, uh, you know, biasing battery. All right. So these voltages are with respect to the ground the collector voltage with respect to ground because girls you can see there is a single letter and if you remember i told you when we are writing something like va it means voltage at point a with respect to ground yani another terminal because our voltage is always measured you know it is a difference between two points so when we have only one point another is by default ground did you get this point do you remember that point Okay, so it means is that when I am saying VE, it means I am saying the voltage between this point, any E and ground. When I say VC, it means the voltage between point C and the ground. When I say VB, the voltage between B and ground. It's like that. So guys, first collector voltage. So try to understand this one. It's so simple. Uh, what is collector voltage? Yani, what I want to calculate, I want to calculate this voltage from here to here, okay? So how I will be calculating this one? This is interesting, look here. What I know, do I know voltage from here to here, girls? This much voltage, 
this line is parallel to VCC. Don't you know this one? How much it is? VCC? Red line. VCC. Is this equal to VCC or not? Red line. Hmm? Yes. If yes, if I subtract from this VCC girls, huh? from this VCC, voltage from here to here. So what will remain with me? Will this blue will be with me? Correct? Yani this will remain. So red, I know. What is red? V, C, C. And if I subtract the green color, green yani voltage across the resistance. And do you know how to calculate voltage across the resistance? RC into IC. If I subtract this one from the VCC, what I will be getting? I will be getting VC is equal to VCC minus IC into RC. Clear to all of you? Okay. This is VC, how we will be doing. So this is always you have to use this formula. So I'm just writing this one. So you can just note it down any one formula also, which we have to follow. So one VCC, next. Next voltage is what? Let's suppose next voltage is this one. VB, this voltage. So girls, for this voltage, here, see there are two ways to go from here to here. Either I can follow this one or I can follow this one. I will follow this one, the right, right loop. Why I will follow, I'll tell you, see. So here is the point, VBE. And I, if you remember, I showed you here a diode. And when I connected the bias singles, so it means this diode is in forward bias. Do you remember? This diode is in forward bias, right? And so here this equation could be written like that. Vb is equal to the voltage between B and E, Vbe plus Ve. Just a minute. plus V E, yani this one plus this one is this, this is the one actually. So V V is equal to V B E plus V E and V B E actually we know already. How do we know this one V B E? Because this diode is in forward bias and girls when the diode is in forward bias, it consumes some voltage. How much it consume? 0.7 for silicon, 0.7 for germanium. So we know the value of VBE. So it's like that. It will be given in the example. It is made up of silicon. It is made up of germanium. So VBE is given to you. If it is I mean, nothing is written there, neither germanium or silicon, default you will consider it 0.7 yani silicon. This is the word. Okay. So this is another equation which we are having now. Two equations. Okay, this is the concept. Uh, so this is VB, VE. So these two equations you also memorize actually. So the two, three equations there, alpha DC, beta DC. And what was that third one? IC, you know, IC is equal to IE plus, no, it was emitter, emitter. How much we are emitting? IE is equal to, IC plus IB. It was like that or IB. I don't remember. I just go back and check it. Yes, IE. So these three things you have to memorize it. Now, any question up to here? Clear to all of you? All clear. Okay. Good. So girls, I already explained to you 
about these batteries to set up these junctions in forward and reverse. So now what I'm going to tell you, rather, rather, rather than having these two batteries, I can have only one battery girls, only one battery to set up in forward and reverse. So how is that possible? The, this thing is possible like this. See this configuration. So here we are connecting a single battery, VCC. Any, I can also show, show like this, this battery, okay? Or we can show, uh, show like this one. So VCC. Now, so we are applying this voltage here, but see, we are, same voltage is here, actually this is the straight line, and we are having here a voltage divider, R1 and R2, you look here. And whatever voltage we are getting here, girls, we are applying here. So actually, how much is VB? VB is equal to the voltage drop across the R2. Am I right? What is VB now? Voltage drop across the R2. Angles. Can we apply can we apply here voltage divider rule in order to calculate how much is the VB? So voltage divider rule says R2 over R1 plus R2 multiply by the apply voltage total. So total we can apply here. This is the voltage total we are applying to this, you know, uh, uh, this combination here. So this is the VB actually. So this is so easy. Yani whenever this type of question is given, R1, R2 and VCC, RC, RE will be given to us. I can quickly calculate VB. Once I calculate the VB, do you remember the formula for V eagles? What was that? I can say VB minus VBE. I just flip it because it was for VB is equal to VE plus VBE. Do you remember? Yes. So VB, if we subtract 0.7, so we can get the VE, right? After getting VE, we, we, we calculated two, uh, basically, uh, the, uh, the uh, what you call voltages. We still, one is remaining. Now, after getting V eagles, V e yani voltage from here to here. Am I right? This one. Can I say V e is equal to I e into R e? Yes. So we can calculate here I R e. After cal calculating I e, we have to apply approximation. What is approximation? We says IC is nearly equal to IE. So this way, I also calculated this IC as well. Correct. So we have calculated these two things. Now, which voltage is remaining, girls? VB clear, VE clear. Then VC is not clear. VC. And what is VC? VCC minus IC into RC. Do you know IC? Do you know RC? Do you know VCC? Which will be given? Just put the value and calculate the VC. So this way we have calculated all the voltages. One current is remaining girls. Which current is remaining? IB. Correct? So for the IB girls, you, have, you will be given beta DC. So if you know the beta DC, the formula is IC over IB. I see you have already, beta will be given. Can we not calculate IB? Hmm? Did you get the idea? So this way we can calculate that one. So this type of questions is most probably possible. Yani you have to calculate all the voltages, all the currents like that, like that. Okay, so I will just stop here. Inshallah, we'll continue the next lecture. Okay, and uh, we'll see this one, how it is basically calculated, how we will be calculating uh, like that. So here is the basics is complete, basically. Now next we will look for the questions and the solution. One question is there, if you want, you can solve this question uh, or tomorrow we can solve this one. Okay, so this is the what I explained to you, all are here and the question is like this. So you can solve this one. Try to solve. I will look for your attendance in between and you can check it now. 
easy yeah we just subtract that uh, this one so 2.23 volts no mariam how it could be 0 0.32 yeah you are right then one mole is remaining vc but for the vc the formula is this one right so we have to calculate ic also yani we need ie first so ie yes correct ie will be ve over re then you will be getting this one yeah 2.32 milliampere all right then after you just put it there then you can get yeah we can apply approximation definitely ic is approximately equal to ie then just put it over there then you will get this voltage is also yeah this is the number of the transistor actually uh, this is npn type uh, npn type transistor and for each uh, transistors you can find the beta also you know uh, because based on that we can find the sheet what is that number okay just let me copy then i'll show you what is that so you know each and every electronic device which we discussed it has its own number just wait you will find what is this this is a transistor see this one these are transistors you can see the data sheet when you click on data sheet you will find all the specification of this device you know so i'll show you uh, this is data sheet for example yeah it is 0 0.7 if it is not mentioned specifically made up of germanium so you will subtract 0 0.7 always sure you have to subtract always okay so check this one it's a yes yeah, silicon si yeah yeah no what i'm saying if it's specifically mentioned like it is made up of germanium then you have to subtract 0 0.3 but if nothing is there so default is it is made up of silicon this is my point okay If somewhere it is mentioned it is so they see npn switching transistor and it is who made this one can you see this one this number philips so philip made this one and the data sheet is there okay i, I don't know why it is not clear okay it's here i think yeah this is the data sheet i think we can download it I just run down. Yes, this is this is clear. And now, so there are things which is given to you here. Okay, like this is okay. Okay, so it's just saying thermal conditions, device conditions, which is all informations here. Say, collector emitter breakdown voltage. Read it. How much? 40 60 you know emitter base breakdown voltage 6 so if i apply in you know, a more than 6 it will damage it's mentioned here so yeah it will break down so it is everything is here now gain dc current gain how much current gain we will be getting collector is how much is there i'm looking for yes current gain huh? characteristic this one is there ic is this this is there minimum is there okay i am looking for beta where is beta so actually it is you know full detail in more detail we can get it this one if we apply this one we will be getting this much of gain showing this one this one transistor character so it is all about this device compiled and this is so powerful and uh, inshallah because time is finished inshallah next lecture i'll try to again false is there we'll discuss that one also inshallah so more detail we'll discuss later on